Why do we celebrate Christmas? Let me ask you, why do we celebrate Christmas? What's the origin the, the, of Christmas? The death of Christ, uh -huh. The, the, birth of, again? the birth again? The death. birth of Christ, right? Yeah, yeah. But what, where can we prove that in the Bible? No, no, no. You understand? So basically, we're just following a norm. You understand? But we can't prove it. Yeah. But if you actually examine the Bible, the Bible is actually against Christmas. Okay. You understand? Let's prove that. Go to Jeremiah chapter 10, verse um, uh, 1. So, do you have a Bible at home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go home, go to Jeremiah 10, verse 1. Let's see what God talks about Christmas. Read. This is the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 10, verse 1. Read. Hear ye the words which the Lord spake unto you, O house of Israel. It says, Hear ye the, the word which the Lord spake unto you, because my brother just brought it to you that you are the children of Israel. Yes. We're the children of Israel. We're not blacks. We're not Jamaicans. You know, we're not West Indians. You understand? We're not all those terms. Yeah. We were the children of Israel according to the Bible. Read. Thou said the Lord. Mm -hmm. Learn not the way of the heathen. Says, learn not the way of the heathen. Why? Because Christmas is a European concept. Yeah. You understand? It's a European pagan day. It has nothing to do with black people. It has nothing to do with the turn of Israel. Sure. Nowhere in the Bible did God say, hey, celebrate Christmas. Nowhere in the Bible did the disciples celebrate Christmas. You understand? Yeah. Jesus himself didn't celebrate Christmas. You understand? So that's, that's something that they instituted in the Bible, which is a lie. You understand? Read. Yeah. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Don't be dismayed. So don't be amazed at the signs of heaven. Mm -hmm. we, for the heathen are dismayed at them. So when the Bible says heathen, that's going into the nation. Those are heathens. You understand the other nations apart from the children of Israel. Okay. Read. For the customs of the people are very. Like I said Christmas is customary. Every year, you understand, come December, people have their lights. You understand, Anything. it's customary. You understand. Yeah. The Bible says the custom of the people are vain, meaning their lies. Read. For one cut a tree out of the forest. For one cut a tree out of Bear in mind, Jeremiah is thousands of years before Christ. He says one cuts a tree out of the forest. Read. The it work says, of the hands of the workman. The work of the hands of the workman. Read. With the axe. With the axe. Read. Listen closely. Read. They deck it with silver and with they gold. They decorate that tree with silver and gold. What custom does that sound like to you? Christmas. Thank you. You understand? Yeah. Letting you know that that was way before Christ. That has nothing to do with Jesus. You understand? Okay. They decorate with silver and gold. What did they do? Read. They facet it with nails uh -huh. and with hammer that it move not. That it move not. You understand? This is talking about a Christmas tree. You yeah. understand? Every year you bring a big Christmas tree. Cut it down. Cut it down. You understand? Yeah. But the Bible says that has no, that's going into idolatry. You understand? It's a curse. Okay. That's how most of our community is cursed. Why? Because they bring that tree in their in their houses. They don't know what it means. They don't question it. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or they say, oh yeah, can I have a Christmas tree? But do you know what the Christmas tree represents? What has the Christmas tree got to do with Christ? Yeah, you understand? No, yeah. Read. They are upright as the palm tree. They are upright as the palm trees. Back then they used the palm tree. And as if you go to Jamaica, you see palm tree, but um but today they use the their Christmas tree, evergreen tree. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. That, that shaped like a triangle. That's what they use. But it's the same concept though. You understand? Back then they used to call it Saturnalia. Now it's mm -hmm. called Christmas. You understand? Okay. Christmas. Because they sort of added Christ to it. But speak not. They speak not. Why? Because it was it was they had a concept that say, oh, if you bring that to your house, Nimrod, which was a pagan Babylonian god, will come and bless you. You understand? Okay. Read. They must need be born. Say that again. They must need be born. Meaning you must carry them. You understand? You must balance them. Read. Because they cannot go. Uh -huh. Be not afraid of them. The Bible says, be not afraid of them. So we shouldn't be afraid of them. You understand? We should see that as garbage, vain. Read. For they cannot do evil. Uh -huh. Neither also it is in them to do good. Neither also is it in them to do good. You understand? Because every year, what, what Christmas song do they say? Santa Claus is coming, coming tonight. Do you understand? Yeah. You understand? What, what, how does it go again? He sees you when you're awake. So be good for goodness sake. You understand? Yeah. So according to the Bible, Christmas yeah. is a lie. You understand? We should not be celebrating as a people. You understand? We should not be celebrating Christmas. Um, get me the book of... And again, you said, when I asked you what, when, when was Christ born, you said 20, 25th of December. Yeah. But like I said, where is that in the Bible? Never it's not in the Bible. Yeah. It's done. More lies. Get me. We're gonna show you, but the Bible actually does speak about the reference of Christ's birth. Get me Luke. 
chapter 3 verse 4. This is a book of Luke Let's chapter 2 verse 41. Read. Now his parents went to Jerusalem. This is Christ. His parents went to Jerusalem, which is the motherland, you understand? Which is in Africa, by the way. You understand? Read. Every year. Every year, read. At the feast of the Passover. At what feast? Feast of the Passover. At the feast of Passover. You understand? So that's mm. the feast. That's the feast of the Israelites. You understand? You can read that in the book of Leviticus 23. Read. Okay. And when he was 12 years old. And, and the feast of Passover falls in the springtime. You understand? Late March, early April. When he was what? 12 years old. And when he was 12 years old. So that's making reference to his birthday. When his birth came, that's referring to the feast of... It fell at the same time during the feast of Passover, which is the springtime. You understand? Not yes. December the 25th. Read. They went up to Jerusalem. They went up to Jerusalem. Read. After the custom of the feast. After what? After the custom of the feast. After the custom of the feast. That's not talking about Christmas. It's talking about Passover. You understand? Okay. Is that it? Yes, sir. So that's the birth of Christ. You understand? It gives you re a reference of the birth of Christ. He was born round about in the springtime. You understand? Spring, yeah. Late March. You understand? Early April. So okay. December the 25th is a lie. Nowhere in the Bible would you find that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? Christmas is a lie. You understand? Get me, let's get some more. Get, so you got any questions in regards to that, by the way? No, I'm going to listen, you know? I'm going to listen, I'm going to learn. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yes, get me um, Colossians 2 verse 8. Because, just like how my brother was teaching, the reason why we're cursed is because of because we don't we don't obey God. Yeah, you understand? Don't. God gave us high holidays to keep. Mm. Passover, Sabbath days, the Feast of Dedication, which falls in the winter. We're going to get that after. You understand? Mm. But we don't keep none of that. We want to celebrate European concepts. Christmas, yes. Easter, birthdays, Mother's Day. But show me that in the Bible. Show me Christmas in the Bible. No. Show me Mother's Day in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Show me Easter in the Bible. You understand? And that's how we're cursed as a people. That's what God, you understand? Mis they mis they mislead statement. us, you know, so. Thank you, you understand? Yeah. But we all grew up on Christianity and, mm -hmm. you know, that's how we grew up in the church exactly. as Christian. Right, 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 right. Parents are Christian, you know, right, because right, right. the slave master passed mm -hmm. Christianity to them mm -hmm. from them. But when we bring so we that, always think yeah. that is the way to go. Now, yeah, so now true. we are growing up and we are getting the enlightenment. Yeah. Thank you, you understand? You know what I mean? But so. yeah, the, the, the Bible says that in the last days, you understand, the people, our people will hear the truth. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's not by accident that we came here to bring you the truth. Mm -hmm. You understand? It's 2023, and people need to come out of the churches. They need to come out of Christmas. The last one. You understand? Get me that. Read. This is the book of Colossians, chapter 2, verse 8. Read. Beware lest any man spoil you. Just like what you said. The Bible says, beware. So the Bible is warning you, beware, lest any man spoil you. Read. Yeah. Through philosophy. Through philosophy, read. And vain deceit. And vain deceit. Just like how we read, Christmas is vain. Deceit, meaning lies. Yeah. Just like how you said, we've been deceived to think that Christmas is of God. Yeah. Why? Because when it comes, people think, oh, it's a family thing, the family tradition. Yeah. Family get together. But they don't know the dark history behind Christmas. You understand? They don't know the dark history behind Christmas. Read. After the tradition of men. After the tradition, because it's a tradition of men. It's not of God. It's a tradition of men. You understand? Read. After the rudiment. After the rudiment of the world. After the rudiments of the world, meaning the elements of the world. Because if you go everywhere, if you go to China, you mention Christmas, they know what it is. They may not celebrate. If you go to India, they know what Christmas is. Because it's a worldly holiday. You yeah, understand? Yeah. Everybody knows Christmas. You so, understand? So. Sorry. We are not after Christ. It has nothing to do with Christ. Like I said, we brought that Christmas was thousands of years before Christ. Christmas has nothing to do with Christ. Is that it, yeah? Yes, sir. Get me wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 16. So we're going to show you more on uh, how our people have been deceived. How they deceived us. You understand? We're going to show you more on Christmas. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon from the Apocrypha, chapter 14, verse 16. Read. Thus, in process of time, thus in process of time, read, an ungodly custom grows strong, uh -huh. was kept as a law. An ungodly custom grew strong, was kept as a law. Like I said, Christmas is customary. You understand? It's a national holiday. It's a global holiday. 25th of December is, is, a, is basically like a holiday. You understand? Read. Yeah. And graving, you know read. and graving images were worshipped by the commandments of kings. And graving images were worshipped by the commandments of kings. You understand? The famous graving image that was worshipped was 
their G was their G if you type in Jesus on Google, you understand the white image of Jesus. You understand with blonde hair, blue eyes, pale skin. Yeah. But nowhere in the Bible does it say that Jesus looks like this. Nowhere in the Bible does it say that Jesus had pale skin, blue eyes, blonde hair. You understand? In the Bible it says that Jesus was a black man with woolly hair and skin so dark it looked like it was burning in the furnace. If Jesus walked in earth today, he would probably resemble you. He probably resemble my brother. You understand? He probably resembled my brother here. You understand? Read, that's the graven image. Read. Whom men could not honor in presence because they dwell far off. They took the content counterfeit of his visions from far now. Read that 17, yeah. Read that. They took what? Uh, they took the counterfeit of his vision in the visage from far mm -hmm. and made an express image of a king whom they honor and made an express image of a king whom they honor when did they honor them when did they honor him in december the 25th they yeah. say that it's jesus holiday you understand no. that's 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 what it's, it's going into you understand so come 25th of december everybody everybody honest this guy here honor the blue eye guy blue eye god and say that his his birth was on the 25th of december you understand um, is that it, yeah? Yes, sir. Get me um, Revelation chapter 11, verse 10. I'm going to show you something about Christmas and what did in regards to slavery. Now, because our people, we don't know that whenever we celebrate Christmas, we're, we're, um, un, we're commemorating our downfall. Yeah. You understand? Get me that. I'm going to show you what they did in Christmas. This is the book of Revelation chapter 11, verse 10. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them. Why? Because at one point, black people ruled the world. Black people ruled Europe. You understand? When did they rejoice over us? They call it the, they call it the Renaissance. You understand? Back then, they, in the Dark Ages, that's when we ruled the world. Why did they call it the Dark Ages? Because dark-skinned people ruled Europe. You understand? Dark-skinned people ruled England, Spain, Italy. You understand? Russia, Romania. Read. And make merry. And did what? And made merry. And ma did what? And did what? Make what? And made merry. I hear this. Yeah, and yeah, make yeah. merry. So every Christmas, what did they say? What What did they say? Um, every Christmas. Said thank you. Merry Christmas. Oh yeah. It says and did make what? And made merry. They destroyed us and make merry. Hey, Merry Christmas. You understand? So they us thank merry. you. They've destroyed us. You understand? That's where. That's where. That's the origin. Or, or, origins of Merry Christmas. You understand? Read. It's gonna show you. Read. And shall send gifts one to another. What did they do every Christmas? Give gifts. Give gifts. Yeah. Merry so, Christmas. Here's your yeah. gift. Yeah. You understand? I'm gonna show you that back then we were the gifts. You understand? If you worked back then we were the gifts. Hey, I have this young book for you. You understand? Merry Christmas to you. I have this um uh, this witch for you because they ripped our daughters. That's for you. Merry Christmas. You understand? That's the history of Christmas that they don't show you. You understand? Yeah, our people, when it comes to Christmas, oh, Merry Christmas, but they don't know nothing about Christmas. You yeah. understand? They're celebrating their downfall. So whenever we celebrate Christmas, we're celebrating our downfall. Yeah, you understand? Sure. Is that it? No. Read. Because these two prophets tormented them. So the prophet is symbolic for the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. You understand? The children of Israel. We tormented them, meaning we rule them, we conquer them. Read. Them that dwell on the earth. They that dwell on the earth, you understand? So that's the history of Christmas that they don't teach us. You understand? So we brought out that Christmas is pagan. You understand? We should not celebrate it. You understand? There's a celebration in the Bible that we should celebrate. And Christ Himself celebrated. Get me that John 10 22. I'm gonna show you that cele the winter celebration that the children of Israel must be keeping. Read. This is the book of John, chapter 10, verse 22. Read. And it was at Jerusalem. And it was at Jerusalem. Read. The feast of the dedication. That was Christmas. The feast of the dedication. The feast of the dedication. Read. And it was winter. And it was winter. Understand? That that was the winter celebration that God ordained us to keep, not Christmas. Okay. From Genesis to, to Revelation, nowhere in the Bible would you um, would you um, read that God said we should celebrate something called Christmas. Read. And Jesus walked in the temple. In Solomon's port. And Jesus walked in the temple in Solomon's port. Dedication, you can read about that in the book of Maccabees. The red book that we showed you, Maccabees. Yeah. You can read about that in the book of Maccabees, chapter 4, verse 54 to 59. You understand? We celebrated the destruction of our enemies and we rededicated our temple. You understand? I would recommend you buy this book. You understand? Yeah. Because they banned it in Jamaica. You understand? Uh -huh. 
So I'm that's that, that's what we should be celebrating, you understand? We shouldn't be celebrating Christmas. You understand? Get me last last one before we go. Daniel 7 verse 25. Because all this stuff, all this stuff, all this is a curse, you understand? All this everything that have re relation with Christmas, we should not be we should not have any relations to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you have a Christmas tree in your house, burn it. You understand? Because you're bringing a curse on yourself. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 25. The graving images of their God. The graving images of their God, read. Shall ye burn with fire. Shall ye burn with fire, read. Thou shalt not desire the silver. Thou shalt not desire the what? The silver uh -huh. or gold. Or gold. That's that, the Christmas tree, the silver and gold um, utensils and all that stuff. Yeah. Read. That is on them. Uh -huh. Nor take it unto thee. Mm -hmm. Lest the thou be snared therein. Lest thou be what? Snared therein. Lest thou be snared therein. Read. For it is an abomination to the Lord thy God. It is an abomination to the Lord thy God. Is that it? Yeah? Yes, sir. So, you understand? So, we should not celebrate Christmas. You understand? It's a snare. It's a curse on our people. You understand? It's a curse on our people. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is